So let's have a look at some of the recovery work that we need to do after our training sessions. This is going to incorporate some stretching and some myofascial release. So as you're probably now aware, this is a lot of upper body work and we need to now do some stretching on those muscles post training. So we're gonna have a look at some of the muscle groups that we've used. You should know what these are by now. And quite honestly, if you've been doing the training, then you know what muscles are gonna be aching. We're gonna have a go at doing some stretching on those right now. First up is the forearm. So the forearm is going to potentially feel uh, quite heavy from the lactic acid buildup. And quite simply, the way to stretch this or an effective way to stretch this is to put your arm out straight in front of you. You're gonna grab your hand, so the full hand, don't pull the fingers, it's from the palm of the hand. You're gonna grab that, pull your hand backwards. So now this action is gonna be stretching the forearm. And then you're going to bring your arm across you like a seat belt. Now the idea is that the further back that your hand can go from the wrist, the more you're gonna get a stretch in this forearm, okay? So you're gonna see a lot of um, climbers and boulderers doing this a lot because they get their forearms quite um, full of lactic acid, but this is one way that you can stretch it out after your training. Remembering to always do both sides, so left and right with the forearms, we're now gonna have a look at the shoulder and the shoulder capsule. So. You've probably seen this before, but there's a couple of bits and pieces that I want you to be aware of. So the usual one is just bringing your arm across your body like this and putting your other arm behind the elbow and you're going to, essentially you're pulling the outside of your arm, okay? And you want to pull away. Now, if this is the section that you want to be stretching, there's no point in bringing your shoulder around with your arm because that's not gonna stretch anything, you're just turning. So the idea is, is to pull the shoulder back as you pull your other arm the other way. So now this, this here to here is now stretching and becoming longer. Don't turn, keep facing forwards. So shoulder back, elbow forwards. From here, you should be feeling the outside there. Now, one thing you don't wanna do is let this arm drop down here. So you don't wanna do this. This is, you're not gonna feel it. And quite honestly, you're putting your shoulder capsule in the wrong position. What you wanna do is bring that arm up high here and you're coming across this way. Again, another thing to think about is potentially squeezing your shoulder blades together. So from behind, instead of being hunched over like this, you're gonna pull your shoulders back and you're essentially trying to pin your shoulder blades together in this stretch position. The next one you can do against the wall or I prefer to do it on the floor. And the idea is what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch the chest and the inside of the bicep here, okay? So we're gonna use the floor. Now the idea is that you're gonna lie down on your chest and the arm, the side that you're going to stretch, this is going to be out to the side. So from here, you lay down, arm out to the side. Now from this position, the idea is, is to use the other arm to help you push over like that, okay? And similarly, the other side, so arm out to the side and you come across, okay? So that's gonna be working the chest that we know is gonna be working as you come down um, from the pull-up. So we need to really focus on that as well. And something else to be aware of is any type of exercise where you are extending. So with the, the, the downwards part of this pull-up, this actually um, causes more doms in your arms. So you, you're gonna feel a lot more doms the next day or delayed onset muscle soreness is more prevalent from exercises where you are extending rather than contracting, okay? So if we're doing this part, you're gonna find that there's gonna be more DOMS the next day or the, the day after that. So you wanna make sure that you're gonna be stretching and recovering before you start getting that DOMS. So the next one, we know that the, one of the primary parts of your body you're gonna be using 
is the lats. So the thing that we can do now is you find a wall, I'm going to use this bar. Now the way that you want to do it is if you're on a wall, the, the easiest way to think about it is put your hands on the wall like that and then what's going to happen is you're going to turn your hands 90 degrees and then you're going to twist through. Okay, so I'm going to use the bar here, I'm going to grab there and there and I'm going to push through and now from this position the outside leg is going to come behind here and you can see that the outside of my body and down my back is the lat and that is the part that is getting stretched so if i do it from the other way you're going to put your hands up turn and foot behind and this part i'm pushing away a little bit as well and this is going to give you that lat stretch another great lat stretch is actually using the band okay so i'm going to use the green band good big thick one and i'm going to place it up on this bar up here okay now again we're focusing on the lats so the the, the big muscles down here the primary movers of the uh, pull-up and what i'm going to do actually i'm going to use my right arm so i'm just going to place my arm through the bottom here okay so i'm facing the bar now the side that i'm stretching the same leg I want to step back. So I'm going to find the position that I um, can pull from and then I'm going to step back. I can go on my knee if I want. And this position is what I'm going to stay in and then you can go further back. And you're going to find that again, it is going to be stretching all the way from the bottom of your lat all the way up the arm as well. Lastly, we'll have a look at the abs. So again, this is the, the abs are slightly difficult to stretch um, and actually you're not going to find that you're going to be able to stretch them that much but one way to do this is again by getting on the floor you're going to lie on your chest and your belly and you're essentially going to put your hips down forward and you're going to look up like that and again you're going to feel that the, the the stomach the abs are going to be stretching as you look up